Right now, I will show you three ways how you can find and locate a downloaded or saved files on your iPhone. Now, there are some things you should know about, of course, because imagine that you hit a save on a specific thing that you want to download from the internet, and then you have to actually look for where it appeared on the iPhone. Now, th let's me, let me just begin with it right now, because the first option would be that you're downloading a photo. Because let's say that you open up the Google Photos, whatever it is, you hold down on a picture like this and you click on save to photos. Now, when you just save it to photos, obviously it's going to appear in the photos app. It's going to appear somewhere at the bottom. So it's going to be in here. Now here's the latest photo that we have downloaded. So in case you save a file, like a picture, then it's going to appear most likely in the photos app. But this is not the only scenario because you can, of course, go ahead and go inside of the Safari and find some kind of asset. I don't even know what that may be, but let's say that you get to this section where you can view or download that very specific file. You can see that it's .mp4, but it can be anything else. It can be PDF. It can be basically anything, as I say. So you just hit the download. You can see at the bottom that it's being downloaded, but what about it now? Now, you can definitely click on the double A icon and you can see that the downloads button showed up. By default, it doesn't even have to be there. It can happen that you don't even see the downloads button because you don't have any downloads available. Now, that makes sense. And you can find also the blue dot right there indicating that one new download is available. So we're just going to click on it and it just shows like a video or whatever the file is. And now when you download it this way through Safari, you have to, of course, save it somewhere. So we're going to click on the share and save it somewhere. Now, if I save the video, it's going to appear in the photos app. So in case you save the files like this, it will appear in the photos as well. But there is another option you can, for example, save it to file. And this is where most of the stuff is actually going to be saved. Now, inside of the uh, files app, I can save it in here and it's going to be done. But the files app is your go to place to find and search for saved files. Because you can, of course, open it up like this and find inside of the iCloud drive or you have to go to on my down iPhone in case you want to download stuff like this and you should find somewhere around here the download folder. I personally do not even have it here but that's because I removed it but by default you should have it in here and whenever you download it should or it is likely to appear inside of this section. So the second way is of course to go to the files app on my iPhone and try to find the downloads. For example I have ones I have the ones here so I have the downloads in here and whichever stuff I downloaded it's just gonna appear right here so you can see many different photos but it is this is part of the iCloud so yeah it depends but yeah it depends on where you save them but these are the options that you have besides that you can of course download songs like you can find and click on songs and if you have and if you are an Apple Music subscriber you can save it for offline use by clicking on the button right there at the top. So the photo, the, I mean, the songs are also going to be saved on files or saved as a file on the iPhone, but inside of the actual music app. So this is another option as well. So yeah, I'm just showing to you what is possible and how it works, but this is basically all there is to know. However, you would be leaving uh, out so much stuff in case you didn't master your iPhone properly. And that's why I created the Foxtech educational platform. It is 100% free to join. So you can click on the link down below in the description and get inside of this group for free where you can find many different courses and tutorials. Like I have a section for social media, photo and video where you can find, as of right now, there is the uh, Adobe video editing course. So that's good. You can watch it there for free. So that's useful. And also other like in-depth guides for iPhones and apps inside it so many different things to check out in there so if you're interested link is going to be down below in the description i'm going to wrap up the video right now hit the thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below and i will see you in the next video